fellows, and they are markedly less than infinite wisdom, choose to prove their gender and sexual orientation by seeking out a locale rumored to be frequented with events of the supernatural. What a loathsome and paradoxical term supernatural is. How can a thing be above nature when it occurs naturally? But I digress. Many such brave souls who set out in search of the nocturnal thrills of the unknown find that there is little to fear. Despite the cold sweat they feel, and choose to take this evidence as an answer to the whether or not the supernatural exists in our shared perception of the world. What fools! Indeed, if one steals himself over much, such an individual may find that he or she never will see anything beyond the mundane. It is those that embrace their fear that find much more startling evidence supporting the possibility of earthly entities and energies beyond our current understanding. Fear is more than a biological warning to impending danger. It is a sense, little different from the five senses most people are familiar with. To ignore one's fear is to close one's eyes to such secrets possessed of beauty beyond most mortals' imaginations. And so, I impart this advice upon those who wish to confirm the existence of the supernatural. Exalt yourself in your fear. Stoke the fires and seek out the darkness. You will see such wonderful things.